Hey guys, what's up? Austin Smith here with a review of the Maglite Solitaire Keychain Flashlight. This is one of the smallest offerings from Maglite, probably the smallest offering. And uh, it's one of the smallest little keychain lights that I think I've seen that uses a AAA battery, that is. Obviously you can get smaller lights, but a single AAA battery flashlight. Uh, this is pretty close to as small as you're going to get, although I suspect some company has made a smaller one. Here's another one that I have. Uh, this one was not mine. This one was purchased uh, by my dad and used for years uh, until it did break and then I fixed it. Anyway, we'll take a quick look at these, but first we'll take a look at the packaging. Uh, you can see 20 meters there. Two lumens, not very bright, but it still works. Um, and we have 3 hours and 45 minutes, so about 4 hours on one battery. Uh, and it's weatherproof, I guess is what that means. Anyway, 20 meter beam distance, got a QR code there, you can scan that with your phone. And you have your instructions uh, in here. And other stuff, I believe this tells you everything about the disassembly and stuff like that. It does include an extra bulb, which is nice. And there we go, you got your features on the back. This comes in like a blister pack with the light like this, and then a battery like there. So, put that off to the side and look at the lights themselves. Uh, as you can see, after a while, the black paint does chip off. But uh, at the start, it looks kind of nice. And I have used this. Uh, I don't know what uh, a lot of people do to get paint and stuff like that to chip, uh, including my father. Anyway. You can see it's got a little bit of texture here, not too much, but it is uh, it is grippier because of it. Uh, and I like the understated design. I'm not a fan of knurling or anything like that, so uh, I, I do like the way that looks. It's a little twist mechanism, and it does focus um, and spread out. Uh, it's pretty much useless in a super spread out mode, uh, but focused it uh, and and in total focus mode as well. Anyway. Um, also, unscrewing it to turn it on uh, will eventually screw it off. There we go. Take the head off like that. Um, so, you're actually, when you turn it off, unlike most flashlights, you're uh, tightening it rather than loosening it, uh, securing it to the flashlight itself. So we have Solitaire up here at the top, Mag Industry Instruments, sorry. California. Uh, I believe it's made in the USA. You have the body, which looks fairly plain. I like it. Like I say, understated design. You have the little cap here at the back, which has the little uh, split ring holder. And then this fairly handy uh, uh, lanyard that goes on your keys, so it hangs like that, and you can see your keys with the flashlight, which is uh, pretty handy. It depends on what you're doing. If you're trying to use your flashlight to see putting your keys in the door, that's handy. Uh, it's slightly less handy if you're trying to just have a flashlight with you that you can see other things with. So, uh, it depends on what you're doing. Open the back here and you can bring out the battery. Drop it out. There's a battery. Comes with a Duracell. Uh, in the back here underneath the spring is a second bulb, so if your first bulb burns out you do have a replacement which is nice and I have replaced the bulbs uh, and they do work. I replaced the bulb in this one. Uh, neither of these bulbs actually burned out. Uh, I thought the bulb might have been uh, broken in this one before, uh, so I replaced it. Uh, I was just being silly and it turns out it was the spring in the back here that was gone so I have replaced the spring with a much stronger uh, spring just because it was what I had on hand but this one now works as well. Um, Again, two lumens, they're not too bright. Um, I picked up to replace them uh, this, which is a bit more expensive, about double the price, um, but and it's a bit thicker, as you can see. Um, although this one is a clicky button, which is about as thin as you're going to get uh, with a clicky button, so it has to be thicker there, but this is the Coast A5. And this is my preferred flashlight, but these ones are good, and I still keep one of these around. I keep this one around um, just because they do work. They're really dependable. They're built like a tank. This thing has gone through a lot. Uh, it's got a bit of scuffing, as you can see there on the lens, and it really, like, the bulb hasn't even burned out yet, um, it's, so it's still got two good bulbs. Uh, it looks terrible, 
but it will keep on trucking. Mag lights are just built like tanks, and so if you want the light to go on forever, it definitely will. Um, I I like them. They're like I say, not too bright, and they're not the greatest at uh, saying, like seeing in the dark or whatever. If you're going to go um, into a basement or if you're getting up late at night and you have to go outside or something like that. These are not going to be the greatest lights in the world, but if you drop something behind a cupboard uh, and you need to look at it, you drop something behind your desk, whatever, and you just need a uh, quick light to find it, or say you're searching through a backpack, so you have this clipped, like this one, I have clipped inside my backpack so that you can turn it on and see inside the backpack in the dark. And something like that, it's super good for. They're not the uh, most expensive flashlights in the world, but they're also not cheap. They don't uh, break very easily like the cheaper flashlights would. So they're pretty good. I like them a lot. Um, they're obviously not super tactical, super high powered, uh, anything like that. But they work. Good little flashlights, dependable lights. Maglite always makes dependable lights. So there's that. Uh, that is the Maglite Solitaire. Bye.